For our next story, let's talk about Princess Diana, one of the most photographed women in the world. Nearly every move of hers was followed by the paparazzi, so much so that it led to her death. She died on August 31st, 1997, in a car crash. It shocked the world. Her vehicle slammed into a support column. It flipped and came to rest in front of oncoming traffic. The car was speeding. Do you know why? Because she was being chased by a swarm of photographers. She was trying to evade them. As divided as the world was about British royals, it united in calling her death a loss, a tragedy. Something similar echoed this week, this time with her son, Prince Harry, along with his wife, Meghan Markle, and her mother. They were in New York. They just attended an award ceremony. But as soon as they left the event, the Duke and Duchess became involved in a car chase. They're calling it a quote-unquote near-catastrophic car chase. And who was chasing them? The paparazzi. They allegedly made the royals' transport challenging. No arrests or injuries have been reported. But according to claims, the risk of injuries was high. Listen to what the mayor said. You know, the press, uh, paparazzis, you know, they want to get the right shot. They want to get the right story. Uh, but public safety must always be at the forefront. Uh, my, uh, the briefing I received, uh, you know, two of our officers could have been injured. Reports say there were numerous photographers in half a dozen cars, driving recklessly, going through red lights, driving on pavements, blocking other vehicles, all while taking photographs. That shows some serious dedication, but not the good kind. We can't help but question this perseverance. Because this isn't the first time paparazzi has come under fire. An aggressive photographer once rammed his vehicle into a celebrity's car. There are often reports of paparazzi stalking celebrities even following their children. Celebrities have termed this predatory and invasive. Many have taken photographers to court, but despite these celebs calling out this behavior, there is no change really. And with the advent of social media, things have only gotten worse. Paparazzi work to feed eyeballs, the public's voyeuristic obsession with the private lives of celebs. The juicier the content, the better. So for them, Meghan and Harry are the perfect fodder. The media has endless appetite, it seems, for stories about them. They're renegade royals. They have a frosty relationship with the crown. They're constantly fighting the royal security detail and battling the paparazzi. Prince Harry is currently involved in multiple legal disputes with the press. There are allegations of phone hacking and gathering information illegally. But his fight with them is not new. When Princess Diana died, Harry solely blamed the press. He called them a pack of dogs who followed her, chased her, harassed her, called her names. He claimed they would wait for her to overreact just so they could take a picture. And this does sound cruel. Of course, these are all claims. But hundreds of celebrities and influencers have come forward with similar allegations and stories. They say they feel like zoo animals. They question their safety and that of their children's. But the same problems persist. So we ask... Is it okay to violate someone's privacy for Instagram likes? Is it okay to follow someone's children to school? Paparazzi play a crucial role in tabloid journalism, but the chaos they bring must be questioned. And the media frenzy should come with consequences.